I've landed in Wellington and the first thing that we need to do is get this number card. So, Martin Bro, I have been here to tour and also lunch. This is the Poppy's Wax. My husband and wife, my wife's name is Poppy. और आगे देखते हैं ये फेमस है एक्चुअली वेलिंगटन में इनका छोटा सा बिजनेस है अबाउट 50,000 बोटल्स पर ईयर व्हिच इज अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉब्ली कंपेयर्ड टू द अदर बनियाज मार्टिन रोकर के बारे में एक और चीज कि ये न्यूजीलैंड का जस्ट एक परसेंट का वाइन्स बनाते हैं जो सबसे बड़ा है वो है मार्लबो this is where we'll have our lunch. पहली बार वेनियार्ड देखा था मैंने। इसलिए उत्सुकता भी ज़्यादा थी। तो मेरी जिज्ञासा देख जोजो ट्रैवल्स वालों से स्पेशली मुझे वाइन बनाना और थोड़ा लोकल ज्ञान फ्री में मिल गया, जो आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे। which um, starts around about November to about February, that warm uh, temperature of the ocean surface means that any cyclones that would usually stay up in the tropics can move further down south. And they, that's exactly what's happened over the last few months. We get more moist, warm air coming out from the northeast. And with Pinot Noir, which is the main varietal here, it is very thin skin. And it suffers from uh, fungal diseases like botrytis and powdery mildew. How does the uh, red wines, uh, I mean, are they always made to the, these black grapes? Yep. And that's the right. white from the green ones? Uh, yes, exactly. All <laughs> the color comes from the skins. So the inside of this berry looks just like the inside of a white grape. It's green on the inside. The color only comes from the, from the tannin, from, from the outside, yeah. Uh -huh. So if I squeeze this quickly, and don't, don't let the, the juice sit on the skins, <laughs> it will look like white wine. So usually this area is the driest area in the North Island. It only gets 700 mils of rain every mm. year. I don't know what the rainfall has been in the past two years, but it would be way in excess of that. As we were having some lunch, now we're going to go in for some wine tasting. Probably a few of the others will come along with us. So we will taste five wines and we will start with the Rosé, then the Sauvignon Semillon, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir and later the Riesling. They are all very different. And our Rosé is a dry Rosé made of Pinot Noir but very fruity and fresh so easy to drink. This is Pinot Gris at Moy Hall and this is Sardinian Blanc. We're doing a second round of wine tasting here. Thanks to the wonderful ladies here who are probably expert in wines. You did a Sauvignon Blanc Simeon Blend. Yeah. Here you've just got straight Sauvignon Blanc. This one's a bit sharper. But I love love the sharper ones. She said drink the yeah. rosé first. first. In fact, the first one she has ever tried was this year and it was the rosé ones. Oh, uh, was that this was the rosé yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would love the rosé? If you can't gulp up the red one, you can give it to me. And then we go to the last and the most jadui anubhav. Palliser Bakeo. नॉर्थ आइलैंड का सबसे दक्षिणी हिस्सा जहां हमें कुछ बहुत ही प्यारे और खतरनाक दोस्त भी मिले दिस इज द मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द लेक एंड द ओशन दैट यू सेड राइट सो द मीटिंग पॉइंट इज रियली ओवर देयर दैट नैरो चैनल एंड देयर इज अ सैंड बार दैट सेपरेट्स लेक अवनोकी फ्रॉम लाइक लाइक बेलसन द वाटर इज डिफरेंट नो ओह दैट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द हाई अमाउंट ऑफ रेन इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डेज सो ऑल द वे अलोंग दिस कोस्ट लाइन दिस रिवर्स दैट सम हैड ऑल द सिल्ट एंड डिब्री फ्रॉम द रिवर्स दैट्स दैट it's not usually that color. It's just an indication of how wet it's been recently. Okay. 
and the tide is high. It's fed from the Pacific Ocean or by Palliser Bay by salt water. And there's a really narrow channel that's incredibly dangerous. Tide comes in and tide comes out. That sucks things in and out really fast. So you get white bait fishermen going missing every every now and then, just sucked out and never seen again. It's really good fishing, um, though, because it gets really deep really fast and, and sort of the waves will curl in on themselves and then suck everything away. So on the walls of the Lake Ferry Hotel, you've got some pictures of some 94 pound groper caught with handheld oh landlines on the beach back in the back in the 60s oh. good fishing really bad for swimming mm. so that's why the seals and the commercial fishing village are here basically it's for the fish uh also out across there you've got the kaikuras which like i said in my van were about a quarter of the way down the south island think of the two islands like that we're down at the southeasternmost corner of the north island mm. and we're looking at the knuckle of the of the south island and you don't get to see those all the time often there's a bank of cloud and those clouds hug the, the mountains. So you know where the, mount, the mountains are there, but you just can't quite mm. see them because of, of the clouds. See ya. All right, these are the Putangirua Pinnacles Scenic Reserve. Further along the line, if somebody hikes along the one and a half hour hike to the intro, which should be somewhere of the design of uh, these rocks, these sculptures out here. Through a ford and to where the adolescent males will all be up out of the water on the, on the um, flat rock and on the grass. We'll get out and have a look at those and you'll be surprised at how many there are. And then we'll go to where all the seals are, which oh. is this Cape Palliser Matakitakia Kupe. So this is where the breeding colony is. There's a, a little lagoon that's crea uh, created by this reef of rock that sticks out here. So we'll check out the seals there. Go to the end of the road and climb up to the lighthouse. This is where you start telling me about your hip replacements and all, all your knee surgery and all that sort of bullshit. <laughs> then we come all the way back along here and into uh, Lake Ferry Hotel for dinner. All of this dark green stuff is Aorangi Range, a sort of regional park, riddled with um, hiking tracks and dock huts. And then all of this is sort of half a dozen private beef, uh, sheep and beef stations, so these big, these big ranches. So we'll go towards that lighthouse right on top. Before that, let's take a look at this. We are close to the Cape Palliser Lighthouse. From here, there are 253 steps that we need to climb up to the lighthouse. Lucky energy. There you are. 
I have to stop every now and then, so... It's okay. Maybe you can go back to like that something. The top is that good, I think. I'll have to do my research again. Yeah, probably on a event on From a City, the cricket ground would be enough. But whenever I travel, the first thing that attracts me is the nature. What is different around the landscapes, the wildlife, whatever, the geology, whatever is there. So I would try to do that first before any cricket ground. Even if I'm a fan of cricket. There's a lovely like, sanctuary, they call it Heels of the Sanctuary, and out there you'll see kangaroos, koalas, and all those iconic things. She is feared of one of the most important yeah. things in Australia, that's snakes. Uh, he's afraid that we'll find snakes. You can't really avoid them. Sorry? I said you can't avoid them. <laughs> I have we're finally having the first New Zealand fish and chips. Uh, all the Piku is having a chicken burger. So I'm not feeling well today. That is why I'm having a chicken burger. Tomorrow I will be having the fish and chips. So she's you know, stealing some fish and chips from me. Yeah, it's my right. Kahaniya kuch aise hi banti hai. Kirdaro se. Jo kahi se bhi ho sakte hai. Kisi bhi rang. किसी भी जाति के बस हमें उनका स्वागत करना चाहिए नफरत नहीं